Today we are back plowing snow on the county line map. We will be plowing a few residential driveways along with a big commercial lot. We will also be spreading salt. The plow truck for today consists of a second gen Dodge dump truck with a 10 foot Fisher straight blade and a salt spreader in the back. We are loaded with just about half a ton of salt. This salt spreader attaches to the dump bed which is a pretty uh, neat system there. This truck is fully equipped with strobe lights all the way around. Let's hop on the inside, get it warmed up and we'll take a look here at all of uh, the features for the plow truck. We'll take a look here at the strobes guys and see strobes in the grill, a big light bar up top, and some strobes here in the back. We will also be running our hazard light there, and uh, you guys can see big tow mirrors to help see around the dump truck. Let's get the plow raised here and head on out. I'm excited to be back here in FS19 doing some plowing. I will probably be featuring one to two plowing videos a month until uh, the winter season comes in full swing. I really do like the second gen Dodge Jump truck recently released by Expandable Modding. It's a pretty sweet truck, especially uh, with all the plow options here for us. So it looks like there's a car trying to squeeze by, so we'll kind of get started off here and let them go by. Now we do have to watch for traffic, making sure we don't back out right in front of them because they might not be able to stop. This 10 foot fissure is pretty sweet. Now I did make it a little bit wider than uh, what it came uh, from the factory, but I really like the look of this 10 foot fissure. Really does a great job pushing snow. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy so far, but it's been pretty good. Now, this is our only residential driveway where they ask us uh, to spread some salt. It's just too big for them to kind of go out there and spread it by hand, and that's no problem. It's a little bit more uh, of a fee but, than just plowing snow, but it's something that definitely needs to be done. Now this driveway also has another entrance over here, so it's a big, big driveway. We'll get as close over there, and uh, we'll just kind of push all the snow to the left-hand side. So far, I've really been enjoying the snow plowing series here in FS19. The Seasons mod, especially the snow plows, have improved over uh, 17, which is awesome. And we do have quite a lot more plows and details to the plows as well. One thing I've also noticed, these plows really do curl the snow and throw the snow a lot better than in the previous game. A little bit of touch up work here and then uh, we'll just kind of have to plow out the main entrance on that side. I really do like the design of the tailgate spreader. It's a pretty neat uh, idea and a great add-on to a dump truck. But I also do like the big uh, salter sander inserts as well. Those are pretty sweet. So the game plan now is to kind of make our way to the roadway and see if we could just push the rest of the snow into that pile. It's pretty hard sometimes uh, to plan these out, but once you get the plan done, they are pretty easy. Sometimes dump trucks are not the most popular choice here for snow plowing due to the visibility uh, with the big wide dump beds. It's not always the number one choice, but I really do like the dump bed, especially when you could have a ton of salt. And I feel like you, there's a little bit more power with these uh, dump trucks here. But let's now get the uh, salt spreader going and we'll just put some salt down. I really do like this quite a lot. Now this is road salt mixed with uh, sand. That is how we are doing it, and that's pretty much it for this one. That's the only driveway we'll be putting it down on. The next two driveways are dirt, and I don't think uh, they really need to melt ice on a dirt driveway. I really want to try to do this in first person view, so why don't we give it a try? It's always a little bit harder in this view, but I'm up for that challenge.
having those cloud markers does come in pretty handy when you can't really see what's happening. That's not too bad for a first pass here. It's a little tricky, and we need to pay more attention backing up. If you would like to see more snow plowing here on the channel, leave a like, and let me know down below in the comments, guys, what should we use next? Like I have touched upon, we'll be doing a lot, a lot more snow plowing with different trucks and machinery uh, coming up this winter, but until then, we'll do a few more videos like these, just trying to use the brand new mods. These recently came out, and I'm very happy for these, especially this Fisher plow. This is an awesome plow, and I really do uh, like the Fisher brand. In different areas of the country, different plows are more popular than the others I have noticed. Perfect, so we got this plowed at one last driveway and then we'll head to the commercial lot. Now this driveway is here a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be too much longer and I believe that it's also dirt. Now the town plows have not yet plowed, so that's also a little bit trickier driving through so much uh, snow to get to these houses, but uh, we're doing a pretty good job. Having the strobe lights going, all these LED lights around the trucks, pretty sweet as well. Really do like that add-on to this uh, truck. That's pretty much it there. Let's kind of see if we clean up a little bit more in front of this car. They didn't really park the car in the best area for uh, trying to clear the snow in the driveway, but we did a pretty good job. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what plow trucks have you guys seen? And have you uh, been in a truck before that has been plowing snow? I have been in a few, and it is a pretty cool thing, I will have to say. I hope everyone has had a great start to the school year so far. Mine's been a bit busy, but I've really been enjoying this school year. Great classes, great uh, classmates, and overall, can't wait uh, to continue learning. And here is the commercial lot. It's a pretty big one, uh, but we should be able to manage it no problem. Sometimes for commercial lots like these, skid steers are much more efficient. And uh, we'll definitely be doing videos with skid steers and different things like that. And we have a car coming, trying to get out of the way uh, before the car came, but it uh, looks like... Uh, they kind of clipped us there just a little bit. Hopefully uh, we could kind of get the traffic fixed a little bit more uh, to not have that problem. I think maybe a skid steer with a box plow or even maybe a small wheel loader would be uh, pretty helpful. Quite a lot of traffic today on the main street. This 10-foot Fisher has been doing a great job so far, and even though I do like the brand new V plows and wide out plows, uh, the straight blades still do a great job. They get uh, the job done, and, uh, and they are a bit uh, cheaper as well, which is awesome. Trying to plow out this entrance here. It's always a bit tricky uh, trying to plow these out, but it looks like we did a pretty good job. We'll be pushing a lot of snow here. It's a pretty long distance, but uh, I don't think this truck will have a problem. Now, I do prefer to use older trucks here for snow plowing. The wear and tear that a plow puts on the truck is quite a lot, especially going up and down, reversing, putting it in drive so many times, and just the uh, weight of the plow, and also the so uh, salt and sand all over the road. I just prefer to use older uh, trucks for plowing. 
Although the new trucks are great, I think that it does make a little bit more sense to use older trucks. But let me know down below, guys, what would you prefer, even though uh, the older trucks are older, they don't have the same cool features, I think that they might be a little bit better and uh, a little bit smarter instead of using brand new trucks to push so much snow. In a few passes here, we'll be pushing quite a lot. Uh, this plow does a great job at throwing the snow over. This Cummins dually, though, really do like the Cummins engine, and overall, uh, these older Ram trucks are one of my favorites. Uh, they look cool, and they are great workhorses. Yeah, I think maybe another pass or two. Let's kind of see how much we could push over here. Don't really want to bury the sidewalk, and uh, don't want to get it pushed into the roadway, but let's kind of see how far we can push it over. Yeah, I think that's the last pass there. Now we just kind of got to clear the entrance way. So much snow we are moving, but uh, that means we are getting it done. And commercial lots are pretty good uh, for paying well, which is also a good thing. That looks to be good there. We could clean up those last few areas uh, a little bit later on when we make the final pass over there. Now, there is some curbs that we do have to watch out for here. Really do not want to be plowing over them, but it's kind of pretty hard to kind of find them here. I, lately, I've been getting quite a lot of requests to do a farming series here on the channel. I have done a few... Uh, previously but I think we will be doing a farming series I think that would be a pretty awesome series uh, to bring back and kind of get on a farm and if you do know of any map ideas please let me know I am looking for uh, new maps to always play on and uh, we've been playing on quite a few of the same maps lately and uh, different maps is always great We should have enough salt in the back of this uh, truck here to salt this entire property, which should be good. We'll make a pass over here trying to clean up this as well. We'll do one more pass to clean it up, have a nice straight line, and sometimes pushing the snow back a little bit earlier on, a little bit further in the area at the start of the season. That's always a good thing anyway, so that looks to be good there, and we'll just kind of clean up that area there. Perfect. And there is a small road that goes around back, so we'll kind of make that work here. Perfect, so that looks to be good there. Let's kind of get the plow in uh, the straight blade position and let's get salting. I really do like the salt spreader. It does add to the realism of snow plowing and it's just so cool to add on and uh, it's a nice uh, feature to do once you're done plowing. Now the salt does have a little bit of sand mixed in to help gain traction uh, if there was any ice as well. And that's pretty much it there for uh, saltings. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Getting to use the second gen uh, Dodge dump truck here to do some snow plowing. It was overall great. It's uh, definitely a great workhorse here for the winter season. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.